The world's biggest phone maker announced its new line of smartphones at the Nokia World Summit in London today. Nokia hopes that devices like the N8 touchscreen will help it close the gap with Apple's iPhones and handsets powered by Google's Android system. Nokia's executive vice president is with us now from the event, Nicholas Sevender. Thank you so much, Nicholas, for joining us. We're glad to have you with us. So we've seen the N8 thanks to our reporter at your event. How many pre-orders do you have for the phone now? Well, there's great buzz here in, in London, in Nokia World, with all the uh, new products, not just the N8. N8 is the first out of gate, and we, in fact, have pre-orders from over 100 operators around the world. So when will customers in the U.S. and Western Europe be able to get their hands on it, be able to buy it? So the N8 uh, will come to market during Q3. We have not made a separate announcement on, on when it will avail be available in the U.S. market. Now, is the N8 enough to get Nokia out of the uncomfortable or the doomed middle ground? I mean, many people say Nokia is in this uncomfortable position between Korean manufacturers such as Samsung and then at the other end of the spectrum, Apple and RIM, maker of BlackBerry. Well, I think that when you look at the overall portfolio that we launched today, N8, E7, C7 and C6, you know, that is definitely going to make an impact in the smartphone market. Together with the new navigation software and service we announced and the new application store version. So I definitely think that this will help us to make a major impact in the smartphone market. Of course, we need to continue to innovate both above those products that we have announced today, but also on the products below. Because, you know, as a, as a vendor here, we are targeting everything from $20 to $900. So you, you mentioned innovation, Nicholas, and I want to bring out that point because your critics have said that Nokia dropped the ball and wasn't really innovative. Uh, is your best chance now just copying some of the better ideas out there and manufacturing them faster and better? We are absolutely continuing to innovate. If I take an example of today, the C6, clear black display, an innovation on how to make the colors more vivid, uh, the usage both in outside light and inside light better, is one example of hundreds of innovations that we bring to market. Another one would be the combination of an ITU keyboard and touch called touch and type. So I definitely believe that we are on an innovation path now and will continue. Uh, Sanford C. Bernstein put out a note this morning, Nicholas, saying that they estimate Apple and Google's Android combined market share could approach 50% by the end of 2011. What piece of that pie can you realistically hope to capture? Well, today, as you know, we have roughly 40% of the smartphone market, slightly lower overall market. I think that our target must be to be there uh, in that ballpark. You know, the estimates of different parties, of course, are about the future. We aim to focus here and now to make sure that we are part of that future. And Nicholas, we know among your purview, your many responsibilities is the pure marketing. Uh, we've seen a lot of video of Miss Pamela Anderson. We've seen a lot of video of Susie. Uh, is that enough to really get Nokia back as a front runner in the U.S.? Well, these, uh, these two examples that you mentioned are, of course, local tactical campaigns to generate buzz about our new products. The fact that you ask me about it suggests that we have succeeded in that one. But on a more broader level, of course, we do need to not only have good products, we also need to put edge back into our marketing communications. But, you know, Mark this date in your calendar, 14th of September, is when we are back in the smartphone game. We wish you luck. We thank you for the time, Nicholas. Nicholas Sevendaer joining us there. He is the executive vice president at Nokia.